Hey guys, what's up? Kevin Turbo here, and welcome to Let's Play Super Castlevania 4 for the Super Nintendo. Uh, the reason I am doing this one is because we recently did a race for the Super LP Heroes, or it should be actually a while ago by the time this goes up. I did a lot better than I ever thought I could. And I actually beat the game several times in practice without using save states. Now, I'm not necessarily sure I can do that during a uh, LP, but I'll give it a try. I'll do my best, and hopefully it will turn, turn out well. I got a cutscene here. I've never actually watched this cutscene, so this is brand new to me as well. Well, not brand new. I've seen footage of it. I've just never actually seen it while I've played before. But yeah, we did Castlevania 3, and as you can see here, next up is Super Castlevania 4. A much better game. Every 100 years, the forces of good mysteriously start to weaken. Thus, the power of Dracula starts to revive itself. His power grows stronger and stronger every 100 years. Dracula has revived many times. However, his sinister actions have been constantly thwarted by the Belmont family. It's been 100 years since the last confrontation between Dracula and the Belmont family. But now, the serenity of Transylvania is being threatened by destructive forces. On a dark and eerie night, Dracula rose from his grave to unleash his destructive power over the countryside. That prick. Once again, Simon Belmont is called upon to, dis to destroy Dracula. With only his whip and courage, he sets out to restore peace to Transylvania. I read that as destiny for some reason instead of destroy. <laughs> Is that it? I think so. Nice intro, though. Oh, that's the demo, not me. Let's go to options. Uh, everything's how I'd like it being. Continue. No, start, sorry. Right. Um, oops. Did not need to press that. Ah, oh, screw it, we don't need a name. Um, Super Castlevania 4, I think it's just supposed to be a remake of 1. I don't think it's meant to be a sequel. Yeah, as I said, I have beaten this game legitimately before, so let's see if we can do it this time. I might do a couple save states here and there in a few very annoying places, but I should be okay otherwise. I'm going to turn the music up for me slightly. I've never really gotten the pleasure of listening to the soundtrack while playing, so see if that helps the um, ambience, ambiance any. Yeah, much different than the previous Castlevania games, Simon can now whip it all at- oh, better off showing you on another page. And there's the music, oh fucking Christ, that's amazing. Well, it's really good music, I should say. This is a better place to show you. Uh, Simon can now whip up, down, get rid of those. Let's just get rid of this guy. Use the cross. Simon can now whip in all eight directions, diagonally, down diagonally and all that. And now you can do this. This is fun. 
which you know it's really helpful actually i think in terms of um aldi style castlevanias this is obviously the best i still think symphony of the night is the best one i've played so far though in terms of just being a castlevania game uh, you have obviously all the um, tools and tricks you had last time as well with the sub weapons and stuff. Uh, the crosses are the way to go in this game though. You know, don't bother with anything else. If you lose your crosses, um, you know, you'll get them back eventually, so. With a cross like that. And obviously, you, your whip can still do damage even if you're just holding it like that, but. Oh, that was close, I nearly fell off the edge. But yeah, I've put a lot of practice into this game for the race that we did actually only recently. I think it was last, um, no, sorry, about two weeks ago. So it's still pretty fresh in my mind. Ah, uh, that's invincibility. It doesn't last very long, though, unfortunately. And uh, we've got the double shot now, so two crosses. I mean, this is a really, really good game. If you've never played it before, then I recommend it. Uh, skip that. I don't want to get the, um, the thing. Let's get some more hearts. Always a good thing to have. Whipping Diagonally is also really, really good. Oh, triple shot. That was quick. Oh, crap. Took a hit. First hit. I actually meant to do that, but never mind. Yeah, Simon is really um, surprisingly agile in this game compared to the previous um, Castlevania game at this point. You know, it's just really, um, it's a lot of fun to use Simon now. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had a lot of fun with the other um, Castlevania games as well, but as I said, I think this is the superior Castlevania game, at least in terms of the Aldi style Castlevanias, you know, before the Metroidvania um, games came along. Which I have to say, I've still only played Symphony of the Night in terms of those, so I've not played Aria Sorrow or Portrait of Ruin or anything like that. Ghosts, and actually I don't know what those things are that they're not, so... The uh, green monsters, let's call them. Oh! First death! That was stupid of me. That did not happen in the race. I went quite a while without a death. And unfortunately, I've lost my crosses. Things are not going well, this LP. The dagger, I'm actually prefer that over the, um, the plot right now. I need projectiles. What's in here? Oh! The extension to the whip is what I need, actually. Let's try that again. Okay. That's because I fell back. I jumped backwards for some reason when um, I got there. I really didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Last one. Would be a lot quicker if I didn't have um, hadn't died a minute ago. Don't mind. Oh well, boss number one done. An absolute piece of pie. <laughs> Damn you, dying. I can't help doing it now. All right. Um, despite that one hiccup, where are we going now? And yes, this is the map screen. Let's see, we're gonna head to a away from the castle to go towards the castle. Alright. It's basically telling us what our uh, journey is going to be. Get off me. Get off me. Yeah, I'll take the axe over uh, what I've got. These things that come out of the ground, the hands, uh, they can't hurt you, but they will hold you down for uh, other enemies to attack. Which sucks. Uh, 
Right, these, um, what are these actually? Armadillos or are they hedgehogs? I'm not sure. I think they're supposed to be hedgehogs. But if they're not blue and they're running fast, they're not hedgehogs to me. Bunch of hearts. Obviously, art says just in previous Castlevania tiles are your um, ammo for your sub weapons. Just showing you that piece of meat there, I didn't need it. So yeah, if you haven't actually seen the race yet, go watch it. Um, it was actually really, really fun. Uh, and if you like watching close races to the end, then you'll probably enjoy that as well. I think I actually missed out on the... Oh, never mind. I can get... There are plenty of places to get the crosses. Not for a while, I don't think, but never mind. Actually, I think... I'm not sure. Oh, no, no, I think there's one coming up, actually. Look, so I want to get the crosses back. I don't want the watch. <laughs> the watch isn't bad, but it's not nearly as useful as it was in Castlevania 1, unfortunately. Damn you. Oh, fuck off. Ah, uh, the frog's quite annoying. Ah, there's a cross. I won't you lose you this time, I promise. We'll never be parted again, baby. <sighs> Don't want to pick up the knife. Um, I wonder how many of you thought this was going to be the next uh, game I did. Alright, boss time again. We have Medusa, who's a real cakewalk. There we go. She's dead. Really, she's dead. A boss from Castlevania 1 has been relegated to a sub-boss in Castlevania 4. <coughs> no! Fuck! You could see I was trying to avoid doing that. I think it's a while until I can get the cross again and know. Oh well, I'll have to bear with it, I'm afraid. Damn it. I don't want to do that. What's in here? No, just money. Well, I'm saying just money. Money's good. Some, um, health me. I really stepped on those spikes, but thankfully avoided them. Come on, give me my crosses back. I don't want this crappy axe. Oh, yes. The cross is back in my possession. Maybe I know you left me, but please don't do it again. I can change. I swear I can change. Uh, thankfully, you can get the cross for the last boss very easily through a little trick, so... Jump, jump, jump. And we're already at stage three. Which I think we'll do next part. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next part. Have a good night and take care.